this is a test data for handling end-to-end -end scenario so for every parameterized variable in the automation script uh, there is a column in excel to pass data into that and the second row uh, in excel is a uh, invalid credential this is for the negative scenario i'm running the test from visual studio the crm login page will be launched the browser is maximized and it will be entering the username and password clicking on the sign in button now the script will be waiting for a crm application to load so once the home page is ready it will be navigating to the marketing module the home page is getting loaded so right now the script will be clicking on that uh, sales link then moving to marketing section moving to campaigns as soon as it reaches the campaign page, it clicked on the new button to move on to a new campaign creation. So once the new campaign page is loaded, uh, it will be entering a few details like campaign name, campaign type, and then a few date values, and then the offer details. and course details as well and description so the estimated revenue uh, is added and the status is marked as complete and then the campaign is saved so once the campaign is saved uh, we'll be going to the lead section we we'll creating a new lead so in the new lead uh, pop-up it will be entering all the fields in there and then it will be clicking on the save button So once that lead is saved uh, within the campaign, uh, the script will search that uh, newly created lead in the lead section. So it requires few iframe switching. So once it identifies the lead, it clicks on the lead and moves to the lead page. Here we'll be adding a few details in the process ribbon as well as in the summary section, adding like a business phone website, revenue details so once these details are finished it will be entering a competitor as well right now it will be clicking on the next stage button uh, to move from qualify section to develop section so once the lead is moved move to develop section it will be an opportunity so we'll be val validating that as well So here also we'll be entering a few information both in summary as well as in the process ribbon. Then I'm entering customer need, forecast, something like that. Now the script is actually moved that uh, process into proposed stage. Here also after interacting with few controls it will be entering a phone call as well so once that task is added it again clicks on next stage to go to the final stage so in the final stage again it will interact with a few controls there so all this is for uh, just to make sure that our script can interact with uh, different kinds of iframe after every page refresh so here it is entering close date and revenue and then it is finishing so once the opportunity is finished it click on the click on the close as one button and then the actual revenue as well as uh, description is added then it clicks on ok button so our positive scenario is completed right now the crm application will be logged out and the browser is closed
now there will be another instance of browser will be starting this is for the second uh, execution second row data row in excel so this is a negative scenario it will be entering username and uh, wrong password so when it finds that error it uh, exits so here is the results from selenium this uh, most minimal reports so let me go to the GUI reports where you can get more information so in reports there is two views one is this one a consolidated view where you can see uh, all your uh, pass and fail test as well as stepwise result in the detailed view we can see um, what are the validation that I put in the script every uh, step as well as a screenshot attached to it So if you want to see any screenshot in an enlarged view, you can just click on that screenshot icon and then you can see an enlarged view. You need to, if you need to make sure it is working fine, you can do that. And then there is an option to filter the result as well. So based on uh, whether it is a info pass or something, you can just filter it. And then in the failed case, uh, you might have missed that uh, fail screenshot because the execution was faster. But in automation, you can see actually what happened during that execution. So that's all from my side.